Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So today we will talk about a different metadata collection in the satellite image. So we are going to use the Landsat 8 image, a TOA, a collection 1 and tire 1. So in this video I am going to show you about how to load an image in Google Earth Engine and how to get information about the band list that is the total number of bands in the satellite image and how to pro what is the pro how to uh, get the projection information from the satellite image and how to get a scale information and uh, how to get a list of all metadata in the satellite image and how to get a specific metadata properties and how to get the time stamp and convert it to a date so let's get started so now let me explain how to load an image so suppose if we want to uh, import a satellite image into our Google Earth Engine, all you have to do is declare a variable called image is equals to double e dot image and enter this recipe, a uh, recipe code to load the particular satellite image. So here we are using the Landsat 8, uh, Landsat 8 collection mode, tier 1, top of atmosphere. So we have dated 2014. 1 January 30. So now how to get information about the band as a list. Suppose if you want to get, get the, the metadata or the information about the band from that satellite that is a Landsat 8 image, we suppose we can type the variable called, we can define a variable called band names equals to image dot band names. Print band names as a band names so here the band name that is refer as an output as in a band name with this refers to this particular function so as a result we got uh, all the information about that band in this landsat 8 image so now i will show you now we'll go to this option called run script click So here we have in the console section we have displayed our result so it is called a band names that is referring to this band names with this function so we have a list of 12 elements so we have 11 different bands in Landsat, uh, Landsat 8 image so we have band 1 to band 11 so here we have our different bands from 0 to 11 so each band has its own specific wavelength so it has uh, its own uh, specific reflectance and emission values so usually a Landsat 8 image has uh, 11 bands so suppose a different sensors has a different uh, number of bands so in case a sentinel has a different number of bands and Landsat has a different number of bands so Landsat 8 we have 11 bands so uh, we have a total of around 11 bands plus we have a 12th band called as a bqa so now uh, let's get to how to get a projection information from a band uh, so let me guess a band 3 so suppose if you want to get a projection information about band 3 so we are using a So we defined a variable called band3. So here I referred as for the projection information from band3. So the variable called band3 projection, we defined a variable called band3 projection is equal to image.select. So we are selecting band3 with the projection information, the projection function. So finally we are print we are outputting as using a print function, print band3 projection. So, referring to this variable called B3 projection here. So, now let me uh, run this code. So, to run this code, go, go to this option called run and click run. So, in console section, we have our details. Now, let me uh, click this. So, you can see that uh, the band 3 projection. So type is a projection. So CRS is EPSG 
3637. So with we have a transform uh, values from 0 to 5. So suppose if you want to know the information of the band 1, so how to get the inf projection information from band 1. So for that I defined for that I defined a variable called band1 projection equals to image dot select band1. So as a result, it selects the this image refers to this variable image to the lambda 8 uh, image collection selecting band1. So we have a total of around 12 bands in uh, lambda 8 image. So we are selecting specifically a band1. So this is our band1 dot projection refers to its the projection of the band one and uh, finally we are output we are using a print function to output our details so we are referring we are giving a name as band one projection and with the referring to band one projection with this variable so now let me run this so here we have the details about the band one projection now let me open this so the projection is epsg 3263 so for band 3 let us see the projection so it is similar epsg 3263 so both are in similar projection so uh, next we are going to see how to get a scale or a spatial resolution information from band 1 so band 1 and band uh, so let me explain first band 3 so here we are defined so to get a spatial uh, resolution to get a spatial resolution information of the particular band so we are using this uh, code called variable we defined a b3 scale is equal to image dot select we are selecting the band 3 of the Landsat 8 so let me show you that so this is the band 3 of Landsat 8 image dot projection dot nominal scale of the Landsat 8 image so we defined a variable called band 3 scale image dot select image dot select refers to the, the starting uh, image variable so we are used to uh, import our Landsat 8 into the Google Earth engine so image dot select band 3 referring to the band number 3 of satellite a uh, landsat 8 image dot projection information dot its nominal scale so at last we are using print to output uh, our details we are using the uh, using as print band 3 scale we defined as band 3 scale comma band 3 scale referring to this one band 3 scale so in landsat 8 uh, we have we have a uh, 11 different bands so each of the band has a different uh, resolutions for example from band 1 to band 7 has a 30 meter resolution and band 8 has a panchromatic image with 15 meter resolution and similar similarly the thermal infrared and thermal infrared 2 has a resolution of around 100 meters so to view that information or to view that meta information of that satellite image we are defining this script to uh, see its details so now uh, let us run this go to this option called run script let me run this so uh, you can see that in the console section the band 3 scale is around 30 meter resolution so now let me go to the again so here we have a band 8 so now let me let us check the band uh, 8 information so let me define the script so here we define how to get a spatial resolution information from band 8 similar to that we have defined we a variable of band 8 scale equal to image dot select referring to band 8 dot projection dot nominal scale and to print this data we are using a print function dot band 8 scale referring to band 8 scale variable now let me run this so 
So in the console section, uh, it has been displayed as the band 8 scale is around 15 meters and band 3 scale is around 30 meters. So band 3, band 8 is around 15 meter resolution. So now let us check. So here we have a band 8 as a panchromatic image as a 15 meter resolution. So uh, next uh, we're going to view how to uh, how to get a list of all metadata properties from the satellite image. So suppose if you want to view all the metadata information from the given satellite image, you can use this uh, given uh, use the script to uh, see all the metadata informations. So now let me uh, show you that. So we defined a variable called properties referring to the meta properties. So variable called properties equals to an image dot property names. So we defined a function called image dot property names and print metadata properties. We defined the name as metadata properties dot. So comma we have properties that is it refers to this variable called properties. So the property uh, names function that refers that uh, that gives uh, all the metadata information of the satellite image. So to output the to output this information, we are using print metadata properties. We defined as a metadata properties and properties. So it refers to this one, this variable. So so now uh, let me uh, run this. So what is the option called run? So you can see that you can see down here. A metadata properties we have a list of 122 elements so you can see I'm listing a, there is a variety of uh, data from this uh, particular satellite image so we have a uh, lot of information see Sun azimuth cloud cover geometric reflective lines, datum, ground control points, UTM zones, radiance, map projection, sun angle, elevation source. So we have a lot of uh, information uh, from the using this function we get a lot of metadata information of a satellite using this uh, function so you can also access each of this uh, information of the satellite image so you can see that there is a lot of uh, lot of data 122 different metadata of this satellite image we have a lot of data So next we're going to see how to get a specific metadata properties. So here we're going to see the specific metadata property is the cloud cover. So let me search here whether the cloud cover is available or not. So here we have a cloud cover is available in 28, in number 28. So we're going to check the cloud cover in the satellite image. So let us see. So here we define a variable called cloudiness equal to image.get cloud cover. The cloud cover that refers to this one in the 28th uh, 28 number refers to the cloud uh, cloud cover metadata. So we are uh, getting a specific metadata of called cloud cover. So we're going to uh, output that uh, details using a print. We defined uh, called as cloud cover. So cloudiness. So cloudiness refers to this variable containing the cloud of the detail we required the cloud cover so now let me uh, run this so before that I'll minimize it so run this so you can see that we have a cloud cover we have a value of 0 0.01999 so it refers to that uh, it is the satellite image that has been taken uh, on during a clear sky. So there is a very, very, 
very low amount of cloud or it is a complete absence of cloud so 0 0.01 refers to a clear sky and suppose if you want to access the other metadata properties similarly what I have defined in number 28 section as cloud cover here you can change this from any uh, any of the metadata you want so suppose if you want to know the image quality you can define as image quality here or suppose if you want to know the datum datum so you can define datum as here datum so now let me minimize it so next is uh, we're going to see how to get the time stamp and convert it to a date so it's how to get the the date by date when this uh, image was taken the date uh, the date this uh, Landsat 8 image was taken so to find that we're going to uh, use this script so how to get a timestamp and convert it to a date so let us define it so here we defined a variable called date equals to e dot date image dot get the system time start so print we defined as a timestamp date the date refers to this variable so using the specific uh, script we can get the the date of this uh, satellite image was taken so now let us run this so we have our date of this uh, satellite image so that is in 2014 130 so even the time is also available here so uh, in this video i have shown you how to load an landsat 8 image into google earth engine and how to get the information about the meta information about the bands and how to get the projection information and how to get the spatial resolution information and uh, how to list all the metadata in in a satellite image and how to get a specific metadata properties from the satellite image and how to get the timestamp that is the date by uh, date in which the satellite where satellite image is taken so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and give us a like